Hi, this is Jim. This video is about how to make your own chart plotter, which is something I did at the beginning of this summer. It cost about $350 US, and you can see the result right here is a um, high definition screen, and superimposed on it are the NOAA charts for this region. I'm, I'm in the San Francisco Bay, and the standard charts we use, which are very high quality, are created by NOAA. And so these are the paper versions because the electronic version of the same chart, which is just great. And so besides seeing my own boat's position on the chart, this unit has its own independent AIS receiver. And so that gives me the position um, and the speed and direction of every major vessel in the area, all superimposed on the chart. And that's extremely convenient, particularly in a, a busy harbor like this one and particularly when it's foggy. Um, so I'll take you through the parts and pieces it takes to put together a system like this and a, a little bit of an outline of how you install the software. I'm not going to give you every line of, of the installation script because you'll find that's all nicely documented online if you just Google what you're, what you're after. So the, the core of the system is right down here, this blue box, and that is a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, microcomputer. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 came out since I did this installation and so you might consider that. But it turns out the Raspberry Pi 3, which is a very low power unit, has more than enough power to drive the, the uh, chart plotter software very well. So the, the Raspberry Pi is quite a uh, powerful little you know, computer. It, besides the CPU, it's got four USB ports built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Bluetooth, and an HDMI connection, which is how you drive a screen. Um, it doesn't have a hard disk, but instead use these little flash memory cards, which now hold many gigabytes of uh, information. And so that's what holds the operating system, the chart plotter software, and every chart you could ever imagine if you want them. Um, in addition to the Raspberry Pi, there's a daughter board called the Daisy Hat, which I bought separately, and which plugs right into the, um, to the um, Raspberry Pi. And that daughter board is an AIS receiver. And so there's a connection. Um, I took the masthead um, coax cable and put a high quality coax splitter on it. And so that signal goes not only to the ship's radio, but it's teed off and also goes to this independent AIS receiver. And that's how you get all that ship data. Um, and the, the people that make the um, Daisy Hi-Hat also sell this nice little blue enclosure, which protects everything, and I highly recommend that too. Um, the screen was the most expensive part of this thing. I spent $175 US to buy this um, it's a uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution screen, um, of course HDMI driven. It's also a touch screen. And the way that works is if you hook up a USB cable from the back of the screen to the Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi software will recognize that it's a touch screen and just immediately implements that. Touch screen isn't really all that important for this application, but it's nice to have. The GPS is a USB GPS dongle, and um, these things have gotten really good. The cell phone technology sort of made its way into these, so you get multiple satellite locks um, just al almost instantaneously now, which is great. You notice I've installed it inside of this fiberglass boat. There's really no reason to take this outside, unless, of course, you have carbon fiber or a metal boat. You do have to power all this stuff. And um, the screen it conveniently takes 12 volts, and this is a 12 volt boat, so that was easy. The Raspberry Pi and the, the daughter board take 5 volts DC, and so there are these nice little tiny um, 12 volt to 5 volt DC converters, and that takes care of that power problem. Um, now, during configuration and, and a little bit afterwards, you are going to need some sort of keyboard and mouse. So this is a little Bluetooth device with a touch screen here, sort of like a laptop touch screen and buttons for the mouse. And of course, um, a keyboard to type. You won't be doing a lot of typing except during configuration when you have to 
you know, type in the commands to install the software. And this is actually sort of nice on the boat. It doesn't take up much space. And when you're jostling around underway, this is actually a pretty convenient way to do a little bit of manipulation of the screen. So, th so that's it basically for hardware. Um, the process by which you install the software is pretty simple. You will need to be in a place with uh, internet connection and you'll need some sort of other computer temporarily to do the first installation which is to get the operating system for the Raspberry Pi put onto a little memory memory card. The operating system is called Raspberryan and it's just a form of Linux um, which is really very easy to use and it sort of cuts out a lot of the extra junk that you commonly get on operating systems like Windows updates and stuff like that. You don't need anything like that. You just want to run the chart plotter. And so one of the reasons the performance of this chart plotter is so good is really that's all the computer's doing. So to, to get Raspberryan, uh, you download a disk image um, and you'll need some sort of way to copy it onto the um, flash drive. So I have this little USB um, connector and this adapter which allows me to put the little card in here and then copy the disk image onto the flash memory. Then you take out that little flash memory card, you plug it into the Raspberry Pi, and um, then you power it up, and assuming you're hooked up to a screen with a keyboard and mouse, you've now got a running computer, which is great. So, so now inside the um, operating system, you know, Raspberryan, you follow the directions on the chart plotter software to install the chart plotter. I'm using OpenCPN, which is a public domain software. It's been around for many years, and it just keeps getting better and better. I think at this point it rivals any commercial chart plotting software. Um, and of course it's free, too. So I, I, on the Raspberry Pi, I downloaded that, installed, installed it, and so that gave me a running chart plotter um, software on the machine. And then the last step is inside of the um, um, OpenCPN software, there's a nice utility for downloading a whole collection of charts. And you can pick any geographical area, and there's multiple sources of charts. And so I just picked the West Coast of the US and installed all of those. Um, you also have to tell the OpenCPN software where to get its um, GPS data and where to get its AIS data and there's a little screen in there and you have to put the path to those two devices in. Um, once you've done all that you've, you've got um, basically a running chart plotter. You can put it in the boat and um, no longer need an internet connection. Uh, it's a standalone device. So I, I hope this has been useful to you. I, it was a fun project and I'm, I'm really delighted with the um, quality of the software and just the utility of, of having this high definition screen available in my boat. Um, if, by the way, you have in your boat already a television with an HDMI uh, connection, you can consider just uh, skipping this and using your, your flat screen television as the monitor for, um, for your chart plotter. That'd save quite a bit of extra money. Okay, thanks. Hope you enjoy.